Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'd like to speak into the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B, and the theme, Where is your heart at? In the Gospel, Mark 7, 1-8, 14-15, 21-33, to all three readings actually tie in today. Deuteronomy 4, urges the people to be faithful to God's law as a source of life and wisdom. And that gospel from Mark shows that the people added their own traditions, which became authoritative and binding, and then got in the way of God's law. And the second reading in James shows the essential link between faith and love. But I want to focus on a verse in the gospel today. Jesus said to the Pharisees and scribes, This people honours me only with lip service, while their hearts are far from me. It's a big challenge for us today, either during our prayer time, either during our church celebrations, mass, or just in front of other people. Like what he's saying is, is, where's our heart at regarding him? Do we put on a religious show for people and pretend to be in some place that we're really not? And I'm a little embarrassed to share this, but I am going back, thanks be to God, many years ago. But I really, because of my deep lack of self-esteem, needed to show myself as being very holy and very righteous. And God had to heal me as I've talked in so many sessions from the inside out to get in touch underneath the shame with who I really was, daughter of God. Then you don't have to put on any show. You can just live life and you can just be. But this particular occasion, I must have been feeling really bad. And so I can remember going to Mass and I remember genuflecting so perfectly, sign of the cross so perfectly. I held my book and I followed the reading so perfectly. I went up to communion and I received the Lord so perfectly. Then I went back to my pew and I knelt down and I started to fume and I started to tell God how I was going to fix my husband up because he can't get away with this. I mean, it wasn't anything big. It was just me just fuming about things and my heart was far away from God. And I think that's what this scripture means. The scripture is just saying, where are you at your heart level? Because that's where you need to come to God at that heart level without the exterior of holiness. And you need to be very honest and you need to say, I'm not all together. I do have addictions. I do have unforgiveness. I do have problems and therefore, God, I need you. God likes a prayer like that. He really does. And I'm reminded of the Pharisee that sat in the front row in the temple and said, I'm so glad I'm not like these other people. I'm not like that tax collector right up the back because I give a tenth of mint and a tenth of dill. And Jesus is telling this story about this Pharisee. And there was this tax collector at the very back of the temple, right up far, far away. And his prayer was, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And Jesus said, who was justified? Well, the tax collector was. So it's a challenging but a wonderful message today. Get real with God and get real with yourself and get real with other people and God can do a work of transformation. But if you're covering it up and acting like you got it all together and you're super holy, I would like you to bring your heart to the equation today and go, how am I really deep down inside? So God bless you. I hope the challenging message today does touch you and remember my silly little stories if they help at all. God bless you. Have a good week. I'll see you again next week.